welcome back to my channel at the adventure unicorn so today i'm going to be taking you to a unique place i'm so excited so we're going to have a wonderful adventure come on let's go so we're like going along this like path where we can go go and follow around along the riverside so, but in in front there's a garage but if you see that type of garage and there's a down way you're on the right part just go down and the river's right on over there but you can't really see it right now because it's covered by trees Which you'll have to see this and then you go to ruts de Lord. you have to take the path alongside the river it's a really super sticky journey to the cave. Whoa! And once your shoes are covered in mud, don't like go on these um, branches because you might slip. Whoa! You see this river here? It's called Long. It's nice and relaxing. You can have a picnic. Especially in the sunshine, surrounded by nature. So we're in the entrance of the cave, and this cave is one of the biggest caves in Switzerland. So we're gonna go inside now. You can see a ticket counter over there, um, toilets. cafe where you can eat and drink as you can see this is not really an ordinary river from centuries back there is an upper orb and a lower orb um here a whole mountain is placed across the valley in effect of creating a natural dam i read in quite a few books that how natural dams were formed now I am understanding how lakes or glaciers were formed and survived during the ice ages. We're at the entrance now, and this whole place is the cave. This whole entire thing. This whole entire thing. Read it. As you see in the map, the cave is just six kilometers away from the French border. The Wallorb Caves are the biggest caves in Switzerland, created by the River Orb. As you see in this map, the river is flowing from the Fran France to Switzerland. Dun, dun, dun. It's a cave and we're going in to have At the Adventures! The roofs, walls, and the floor of this cave are ornamented and decorated with all sorts of crystallization. The best and the famous here are stalactites and stalagmites. That is fall, rise, and limestones. Here is a pool, the river which goes underground for about four kilometers before it resurfaces. Over time, the river has carved its way through the mountain and created pools and other rock formations. This lighting is so magical when it lights up. It was so creative of um, the humans to create it. And it, this, their lightning's there because it shows how deep it is. It's truly a magical atmosphere for visitors. The classic forms resembling candles or pendants. There's and there's tons of variety of 
shapes like macaroni, these growing at about two to four centimeters per century. Do you see that lighting up? It looks like it's, um, what do you call it again? Yeah, it looks like there's something magical inside it, like a, um, a river monster or a lake monster or like a mythical creature. This is Lac du Mouton, which means sheep lake, which ought to be really called sheep sump because you can see it looks like sheep hairs and also the shapes of cauliflower or bunches of grapes. going to see a few jellyfishes. Don't you think those um, things where it's like curved and there's something coming out the bottom look like jellyfishes? If you turn the phone around, it looks like, um, instead of jellyfishes, it looks like daffodils. This design is grapes because it looks like grapes and that's why they named it grapes. It doesn't feel like grapes. Feels wet and cold. Even though it's wet and cold, it feels bumpy, wumpy, lumpy, sumpy. <laughs> and every time um, it's, it's leaking. It's leaking. Because the water comes from here. See? There's something on my hand. Look at my hand. Look at my hand, guys. Look. See my hands wet? Because the sweating is from the roof. Can you imagine the river flowing just above our head? Whoa! As you can see, the ones, the stones rising from the ground to the top are stalagmites. The ones, fall, the stones falling from the roof are stalactites. And you know, I have a feeling that if you touch a stalagmite and then if you break it or pull it, I think the entire cave will fall down. But the stalagmite, if you break it or pull it, the floor will fall down. Not allowed to touch anything because there are fences and also it's neatly and nicely organized with stairs, um, walking paths, and nice things over four kilometers of the cave. I'm 
scared. I think, um, because I think this bridge or these stairs are going to like fall, and then we're just gonna fall into the lake. Because this is scary, utterly scary, in my opinion. Don't worry, it's all stable, but you should be a little bit careful because the stairs and the bridge is a little slippery. So these are cave explorers. This is what their costume looks like. And in some of the pictures, you can see um, what they looked like in real life. When they were exploring the cave, they found bear bones. Isn't that so cool? Bears lived in caves. Like, um, they might be bear, um, grizzly bears, or normal bears, or, um, or any type of bear. Mm -hmm. 